The river Narmada has nurtured cultures from the dawn of humanity and inspired seers and sages to unravel the secrets of life and explore the mysteries of the other world. An immense torrent of water that Narmada carries has cut through the white marble rocks creating a spectacular sight at Bhera Ghat. On her banks, Omkareshwar celebrates Om, the primordial sound of the cosmos. One of the twelve Jyoti Lingas is enshrined here in Sri Omkar Mandhata Temple. Colossal gods at Maheshwar testify to the immense reverence of the people from time immemorial towards the river Narmada. Glimpses of a society existing two millennia ago can be seen at Sanchi, which connects us with glory of Buddhism in all its splendor and vibrancy. Monasteries Magnificent stupas, famous pillar edicts of Emperor Ashoka, and four gateways carved with friezes depict the lives and times of Gautam Buddha. The relief sculptures of Udaigiri caves in the vicinity make Sanchi the hub of early classical art. The continuity of Sanchi as a center of intense creative activity from 3rd century BC to 12th century AD is another evidence of the footprints of time on the land of Madhya Pradesh. At Khajurao, one encounters the exuberance of true Indian spirit, singing the sweet melody of human emotions in every form and mood. With its fascinating sculptures, exhibiting an exhilarating passion, transforming man from the earthly and material to the sublime. Year within a century, from 950 AD onwards, 85 temples were built under the inspired patronage of Chandela kings. Of these, 22 temples still survive constituting one of the world's greatest artistic wonders. As the legacy of human existence on the blue planet, Bhim Bedka, Sanchi and Khajurao have found place among the world heritage sites. Architectural beauty has found full manifestation from 13th century onwards at Mandu one of the finest medieval cities in India. Set on an elevated plateau of the Vindhyan Ranges, it was originally the fort capital of the Parmar rulers of Malwa. The rulers of Mandu built inspiring range of palaces and monuments. Mandu is a celebration in stone of life and joy, a tribute to the love shared between the poet prince Baz Bahadur and his beautiful consort Rupmati. Legend says that Rupmati's voice still echoes across its palaces and pavilions. Orcha's grandeur has been captured in stone, frozen in time. A rich legacy of the ages the palaces and temples built by Bundela rulers in the 16th and 17th centuries retain much of the pristine perfection. Tiered palaces, vibrant murals, exquisite cenotaphs 
are the landmarks of slippery time that weaved its journey through Orcha. The river Betwa in Orcha provides delightful experiences of discovering some of Orcha's unique monuments. The ancient capital city of Gwalior is steeped in the splendor of its past. A multitude of reigning dynasties of the great Rajput clans have left an indelible etching of their rule in the city. Here, beautiful and aesthetically rich temples, magnificent palaces and monuments, giving Gwalior timeless appeal. The Gwalior fort dominates the city like a great monolith. It is one of the finest citadels of India. Shiv Puri, the summer resort capital of the Sindhya rulers of Gwalior. Its royal setting lingers in exquisite palaces, hunting lodges and intricately embellished marble cenotaphs. Timelessness can truly be experienced in the dense forests of Madhya Pradesh. But a roar of a tiger, song of birds, an aroma of verdant takes one's breath away. Kanha National Park is one of the finest tiger reserves in Asia. Its sal and bamboo forests, rolling grasslands and meandering streams are the abode of several species of mammals and birds. It is also the only habitat of rare hard ground Barasinka. The Bandhavgar National Park is the treasure of heritage and habitat. The density of tiger population at Bandhavgar is highest known in India. The park is rich in various forms of wildlife. Right in the middle of this forest, a grand fort appears from nowhere as a reminder of surprises at every turn in this land. It is dotted with numerous prehistoric caves with inscriptions and drawings. Pachmari is Madhya Pradesh's most verdant gem. It offers absolute tranquility. Cascading waterfalls touch down the slopes and deep azure pools emerge like hidden delights. Perched atop Satpura Ranges, the Pachmari Hill Resort adds splendor and depth to the experience of being in Madhya Pradesh. In Bhopal, the capital of Madhya Pradesh, we find a traditional city changing with time, modernizing rapidly, but retaining the flavor of its past. The upper lake of Bhopal connects the past with the present. The lake has become an international water sports venue. The landscape around this huge water body has changed with time, but its emotional bond with the people remains strong as ever. Handicrafts have flourished to perfection in Madhya Pradesh. 
weavers of Chanderi and Maheshwar have transcended time in nurturing the fine art of creating colors and patterns in silk and cotton. Traditional crafts of terracotta, stonework, metal and jewelry remind us of the wondrous skills gifted by the languid pace of time. Madhya Pradesh is known as the capital of India for its cultural vividness. The rich folk culture and tribal traditions of this state are manifested in the many joyful celebrations, fairs and festivals. Bagoria, the festival of courtship among Bheels in the western parts of the state captures the vivacious and colorful culture of the tribal society. In this land of ageless wonder, time has stolen a few moments to pause and reflect on the glories that its passage has created on the canvas of Madhya Pradesh. Visiting Madhya Pradesh is a rendezvous with time.